Alright, so Mono just got this new Hawk Pass cosmetic. Uh, it is uh, the same sort of thing as the pajama cosmetic that Jormungandr got. Uh, Jormungandr got, of course, a pajama with um, a snake. And Mono got one with a penguin. Very cute. I mean, she needed a fifth weapon. Now she does a five. If I open up it up here. That's cool. Now she's finally complete. Uh, some characters can say the same. Uh, so yeah, I mean, her CC was really bad, but now it's probably going to be a little bit better. It's still not the best, because uh, what she was missing was not a haircut, it was a weapon. But uh, now she's going to be hitting a little bit harder, and she was already a pretty big time hard hitter. So let's give it a, uh, a try here. One thing about Mono, right? I personally really enjoyed this character when she first came out. She... Uh, was like, oh my god, the character, you know, debuffs first turn, so it works well with, uh, uh, you know, Sigurd's passive. And then, <laughs> almost right after, right? Because Mono was, was Mono the most recent banner before Anniversary? I think she was. Oh, that cutting is very cute. I should pay more attention to it next time. I think she was the, the last banner before Anniversary. And then the, the first banner after Anniversary was Brynhildr, which, listen, Mono is really good, but Brynhildr is just a better Mono. <laughs> Only because that's, a, oh, it's such a good AoE. Only because of how shafted Br uh, Mono got with her passive, right? Her passive is really nice because it lowers the enemy's crit resistance and crit defense by 30%, but uh, it only applies if the enemies don't have debuffs, which I, from day one, I thought it was a stupid, like, restriction. And then, soon right after, they release Brynhildr, which does not have the restriction. So what the hell? <laughs> what? what? What's the deal with that? Uh, yeah, so, you know, I personally love this mono when she first came out, but it really feels bad for her, because... Like that, that the Brynhildr is just a better version of her. Even though this mana, I think who hits harder? I think the Brynhildr hits harder with the AoE, but the mono hits harder with the single target. I think that's um, that's a fair uh, um, you know assessment here. Again, the only problem for her is just God, why why do they make it like that? Like if they were gonna do it like this for mono, right? Sure, okay. They make make it so if the enemy has a debuff like this any debuff, then the passive does not apply. Then why the banner right after that has a similar passive of debuffing the enemy's first turn doesn't have the restriction. It makes no sense. Um, that really frustrated me, because this mono deserves better. Oh, let's see, let's see the, the winning pose with the cosmetic. And I haven't got much use with her, because... Like, Jenny, like, Brynhildr is just a better version of her. Even though, um, the passive that this mono provides, I think, is cooler to run because it, it's a crit-based thing, right? Because I, I love crits. And if lowering the crit resistance the most as possible is better. Let me actually put Bon, because uh, I saw mono was missing a few crits on Asterosa there. Asterosa has incredibly high crit resistance, so I don't blame her. It does hold a place in my heart, though. Uh, one of all, oh, that cut-in is very cute. One thing they do pretty well with these skins is always the cut-in. We do this, so we maximize the uh, Lilia passive. Also, I like the idea of using Lilia because Lilia is so powerful. Like with Brynhild, we run Ludosio, um, which by himself, like as as he stands, right, Ludosio. I love him. But other than his passive, he's god awful, right? Like <laughs> his attacks are awful because they have no effect, right? Lilia, she has a good passive and her attacks actually do something, right? It's just her CC is really bad. Uh, <laughs> Mono CC is really bad. I just, I'm just pissed, man. I'm just pissed that they shafted her so bad because I love the, her design. We can see her uh, Raiden outfit. Um, if you don't know, Raiden, the, the main main character from uh, Metal Gear Rising. I've, I said that she looks like him. She looks more like uh, 
like Sam, to be fair, but uh, she doesn't have her Raiden outfit right, right now because we have the Penguin outfit. But like her design is so cool, like everything about her is so cool. Again, I don't know. Uh, let's go with uh, the same. I, I want to attack with Sigurd, but the problem is like, if I attack with Sigurd, then next turn, the passive won't work for Mono. Because Sigurd's debuff lasts two turns. No, missing half the crits. You should use Death Pierce. Still using Sigurd because the attack buff. Uh, although, uh, I actually probably would have been better off running Excalibur Arthur. Because he buffs the HP from Lilia, meaning more damage for Mono. I just always like using uh, Sigurd with her. Because, of course, you can run. Oh, don't die. Thank you. You can run her, Sigurd, and like Trader Melee. And then the Trader Melee has like absurd <laughs> like damage turn one. I'm not doing that right now because I want the mono to be the center of attention. Uh, can we kill? We'll find out. I want the mono to be the center of attention, so I don't want um, Trader Melee here. But, of course, that's such a good combo as well. No, Tarmio Link. God damn you, Tarmio Link. Maybe I should. <laughs> or I could run... Um, I could just run the uh, the Excalibur Arthur, because, again, again, it is a little bit better, probably, to run Excalibur Arthur, because you do get more... Damage, uh, the fact that he does increase damage as it is, and he also, um... Let's do, uh... Let's do, uh, this. Y'all get Sigurd's ultimate because he has Tarmia Link. Might get removed, but still. And he also, um... Has a taunt and the, the HP increase, right? With, uh, which increases the damage from... From Lilia as it is, right? No. Oh, if he gets removed, it's gonna combine. Nice. God damn it. I also always forget the rest of her passive of increasing her stats when she applies the debuff. Um, never really comes to mind when I think of her. Let's do this. I just went, bro. It, they, all they have to do is just say, whoopsie, guys. Uh, we realize that we just released, right after this unit, a character with a very similar passive, but without the god-awful restriction. Uh, let's remove the part of her passive that makes so if the enemy's debuff, the passive doesn't work, right? That, that's all they have to do. And this character will become ten times better. Because, it, like, even when I just debuff with Tarmia Link, which is all, like, often, like... <laughs> The, the Tarmio Link itself stops the enemy from being debuffed by Mono's passive. Like, that's just stupid. And, like, I can't consistently, like, get Lilia's full Relic here. Because unless I'm using her debuff card, then I'm not getting the, uh, the full effect. And I want to run Zelders in the back. Like, I really want to, because then that would increase uh, Lilia's passive. Cool. That would increase uh, Lilia's passive even more, making Mono do more damage. But again, I can't consistently debuff because of that restriction. It's just... I need, like... It's interesting to see, because, like, this Mono feels like the, uh... An attempt at what Brynhildr is. Very solid, you know. Uh, that just... For whatever reason, got a better version soon right after, almost. And it is kind of funny, because like they, they released this mono right before Anniversary. Uh, I don't know if they were trying to bait for Anniversary, because I, I think she's a really good unit. Like, when mono came out, I was like, oh, this passive is like so unique. <laughs> Not anymore. But, <laughs> you know. and like, so cool. Oh, damn. Okay. Um... Yeah, again, like I said, Mono has awful CC. Even I am getting out CC'd by... Uh, I mean, to be fair, he probably has all HP defense. Um, but we also see the Biden, you know, team like this. 
Her passive is so good, so cool. And, uh, you know, after Anniversary, they release a similar character again. Like, interesting point to release both of these characters, right? Lilia is disabled. Cool. Let's do this. Uh, move her card, I guess. Don't care for attacking with her because the debuff doesn't matter. I want to attack with Mono when I have max Holy Relic for Lilia. Which is like... Again, like, not very easy because that is only when I use the Lilia AoE, basically. Ooh, Arthur's dead. Or not? Okay. Um, hmm. This really sucks. If I attack with Lilia, she gets encroached, so I can't attack with her again. Like, if I attack with Lilia, it's basically suicide. But, I mean, I have no choice. Because, like, I have to do AoE first. To maximize the Lilia passive. No, because she got her HP lowered, now Mono's gonna do no damage. Eh. Well, I lost the moment I entered and, and lost a CC fight, because Mono is not a character that can go second. I am back to Sigurd, I just want her to get attack, alright? And it really sucks because, uh, like, I really wanted to come here and say that she's, like, super overpowered now. With five weapons, but it's just, like, listen. I'm being very honest, like, this unit was shafted. Like, they did not have to do her how, she, uh, how they did. They did not have to, you know... Miss half the crits. They did not have to make that restriction of... You know, the enemy has to not be debuffed for her passive to even work. That was a terrible decision by them. Like, genuinely just shafting the unit for no reason. If they were, like, because units are planned in advance, right? And if they were planning on releasing this Brynhildr... Of course, now I'm just gonna keep attack killing me forever. And then taking off my ultimate gauge. Just give me a... a, a Deb a debuff for Lily, please. If they were planning on releasing this freaking um, Brynhilde, right? Then surely they already had it planned out before the anniversary and they knew that Mono was going to be instantly outdated by releasing a character that's basically the same but straight up better. Right? It's just like so weird to me. Also, like, you know, this whole Mono's design is just very weird, looking back, because um, even though she's, again, she, by herself, is actually a very good unit. I keep talking smack about her, but she's actually a very good unit. Um, she doesn't work really well with Catastrophes. I was going to boil you, actually. She doesn't work really well with Catastrophes, which is very strange. Because uh, unless her Relic does something to do with Catastrophes, you know... She doesn't really work that well with her because uh, she replaced the, the other green mono, basically. Which did work really well with Catastrophes. So it was a, kind of a strange thing that happened there. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I hope her Relic is really good. If her Relic is really good, then we might have a shot at seeing her be usable again. Uh, but the way it is, it's just like, man, why did they have to do it like that? <laughs> Uh, they could have just not released Brynhildr. Or they could have released Brynhildr a few months from now, right? And it would have been okay, like, Brynhildr could have released a few months from now. Or could have released a few months from now. And it would have been uh, that bad, really. I can't get my ultimate, can I? No, I cannot. Let me kill the Gaffer so he doesn't attack me again. But yeah, I'll, I'll end it here. I could make the video a bit longer if I wanted to, but you'll get it. Mono, decent, uh, bearing okay, just shafted, unfortunately shafted.